This is a 23 Porsche Macan GTS that we have available. If you're not familiar with the way that the model trim or trim levels go in Porsche world, the GTS in the Macan series is the highest end car that you could option. It has 443 horsepower. It has the same motor as the Macan S that has 375 horsepower. It's just pumped up to put out uh, for 443. It's Dolomite silver metallic. The wheels are the exclusive design 21 inch that uh, are reminiscent of the original Fuchs rims that were in 911s back in the 70s and 80s. It has your surface coated brakes, which you could tell because they're, they have like a mirror like finish on it. You could actually see your reflection in the brakes once uh, they get bedded in. These are almost bedded in, but they will get super gloss like. And, Porsche came out with that to um, eliminate or decrease the amount of brake dust that steel brakes make. It has the uh, red Bordeaux interior. Exclusive design. Tail lights, I can see. Stock, this center piece is red, so it looks really good that they made it clear on a silver car. And also, an option you don't usually see in a Macan, or on a GTS anyway, is the trailer hitch. So maybe the original owner carry bikes or a jet ski or jet ski or something they're made to like tow light things not super heavy towing like you would on a cayenne so let me get the camera here and show you what's on the inside the nice interior the bordeaux red with the matching bordeaux seats seat belts that are an option it has 18 way seats which are the highest end seats that you can get these are, these are heated and cooled seats uh, with the 18-way adjustment, has your Bose stereo system, surround sound. You can see how it has the the trim is in this black brushed aluminum, which I prefer much more than like the piano black color that they have available. And this lights up at night as well when you turn the lights on. It has the Race Tex headliner, which is Alcantara or Al Alcantara, however you would say it in Italian. GTS stitching on the headrest has your sport GT steering wheel. This is an option. It's a little bit narrower in diameter, a little bit thicker uh, as far as the thickness of the wheel goes. And these pieces here kind of protrude more. It's heated as well. It has your multifunction for operating your your dash and different functions, and also has sport chrono, which moves the mode switch from the center console to the steering wheel and you have your sport chrono uh, analog clock in the center as well but very high quality if you've ever seen or, or familiar with porsche interiors this leather is super nice they last a long time and we get cars with 50 60 70 80 thousand miles and the leather still looks fresh the bolters bolsters look fresh that wears very well. In the back, this is an option to have your side sunshade as well. Very nice condition. Has your panoramic sunroof or surround view, which gives you that satellite view, uh, looking straight down on top when you're pulling in and out of parking places. Oh, and speaking of parking, this one also has your park assist. Whenever you see these little sensors on the side fender on a Porsche like this, front and back. That means that it has that assist where you pull up next to a parallel parking place and you push the button on the center console and it will park itself for you. So it just tells you in the dash, uh, just operate the brake pedal and the car does the rest. It's kind of freaky to see the steering wheel flip around super fast to get you into a parking place and also does the same thing if you're going to pull into or back into a parking place inside of regular nose-in parking place. It has the high-end PDLS Plus lights, which are automatic high beam with your matrix systems that aren't, isn't legal in the U.S. It's also uh, been blacked out as well, which is, that's like the highest option that you can get in the Porsche headlight world. That is thermal and noise-insulated glass as well. So it's a very highly optioned GTS. So let's go take it around the block. When this car first came out, as far as the upgrade, 
for the Macan 3, they had us go to the Porsche Experience Center for the training. And they had us compare this car to not only all the other Macans, the Macan S, the base Macan, but also all the other cars in its segment from BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Volvo. Uh, and we all got to drive them back to back on a racetrack just so they could show off how capable this car was on a track. And so that's the p positive and the negative of this car. You could tell that the way that they built this was so that, I'm gonna put it in sport mode and manual mode. The way they built this was to be as much of a sports car SUV as possible. Because the Macan is already, you know, a small SUV as it stands, but then to put 440 horsepower uh, and tune the chassis, uh, they showed us that that's like 70% of the parts or something are new parts for the GTS over actually, you know what, don't quote me on that percentage. I forget the exact percentage, but they, they had a, uh, like a blow apart diagram of all those the Macan GTS specific parts that they made <clears throat> So the car is very very capable on a track So much so that when you compare it to all the other cars that they had available for us to drive It was like no contest so, that being said, if you're looking for a smaller SUV and looking for a more comfortable car to drive, this would not be it. This is more of a mountain road, car V type car. You could tell just because the, the GTS, you could option it with the PASM and 10 millimeters lower. You can option it with the air suspension, which raises and lowers the car. This one does not have the air suspension. But it's very much like, okay, so I, want, I need the SUV for room. But I also want a car that I could take on nice drives. And that is especially what this is. That you feel a lot more of the road than you would in one of the other SUVs. Even, even in this size class. I gotta get around this van. A very capable sports car if you can only have one car and you want a Porsche you can't have a 911 because you need more room this is definitely the car that you want to get now I've heard people argue oh no the Macan S is all you really need yes I agree the Macan S is all you need but <laughs> the GTS is what you want now you can go ahead and, and save $15,000 and buy a comparably built Macan S and have 90% of the fun and performance. I mean, I don't even think there's a second between them as far as zero to 60 goes. Um, but this car, if you drive the S and then get into a GTS, you can see, okay, I can see. It's just, it's tuned. Uh, suspension wise and engine wise to be the most so if that's worth it for you to have the highest optioned car then the gts is it so let's go back to the store and uh, we'll finish up talk about uh, price and uh, warranty on it so before i forget on the test drive i said that it did not have air suspension I was looking on the wrong side of the center console. It does have air suspension and it's set in the low setting uh, right now. So that's a good thing. That's the, that's the good suspension, I think, in these GTS Macans. So as far as pricing works, the way that it works with uh, AutoNation is that uh, it is a no haggle price structure. So right now the car is uh, listed as $94,000. That's what they'll sell it as. People say, oh yeah, but I'll, I have good negotiating skills. I'll come in and negotiate lower. They will not and they cannot. When I was doing sales last year, I tried several times 
to play with that because I had somebody really interested and they were just bent on, I am not going to pay what you're asking for the car. And I had to let them go. They, they wouldn't move on the price. The way that it works is they have a computer system nationwide that tracks the sale of these cars, similar options and miles and everything. And they will constantly adjust the price of the car weekly, depending on what similar cars are selling for. That way, they make sure that it's selling at or slightly below market to move the cars as fast as possible. So uh, if the car is sitting, it, they'll, adjust the, they'll adjust the price lower, um, but usually they go pretty quick. And the same for this. It has uh, 6,300 miles. It is certified pre-owned, which means that it goes from a four-year 50,000-mile warranty to a unlimited mile six-year warranty. So um, you have an, a, a full car warranty besides things that wear out, tires, brakes, things like that, uh, until 2029, which is a really good deal on a Porsche because we know how expensive it is to replace things if they break on a Porsche. So if you're interested for sale at Porsche Irvine, come uh, check it out or give a call and we'll set you up with an appointment to come take it for a drive. It's an awesome car.